Hello everybody and welcome to Half-Life, finally. <laughs> and today, long expected, I have a special guest co-commentator. Yeah, I finally got off my butt and I decided that I would <laughs> help him out in this crazy game. Help me out. I, I remember being the one who helped hey. you out a few months ago. You know what? You just need moral support. That's what it is. Oh, by the way, I'm splittable <laughs> infinitive, if you didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, I decided... Oh, you, you guys didn't see any of those in the next few chapters, by the way. Mm. Excited. Good morning, since... and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Since oh, that's This loud. automated train wow. is provided for the I security right and now. convenience <laughs> of the Black Mesa. Well, I'm not really saying anything. Should I be saying something? Well, I won't be able to hear you anyway, so I'm going to turn the music down a little. Okay. I'm more important than music anyway. We've already decided Mesa this. <laughs> yeah. Personnel. Plus, they're not saying anything important over the PA. The time is True that. 8 47 no, it's not. It's 1044. <laughs> but yes, I decided degrees, since this is such an, an amazing opening that she should help me out. Yeah, Plus, because he needs moral support. And I'll tell you what, okay, I was playing this game. I have, I've played Half-Life, but I haven't beaten it yet. And every time I play it, I get so tense, I almost poop myself. So I need his support. Inbound. Plus, she just had no idea what she was doing, so... Exactly, I was running around, I didn't know what I was doing, I was jumping, dying, all this sorts of stuff. I'm telling you, this game is intense. So, I, I can't remember, did you get the original Half-Life, or did you get Half-Life Source? I got the original Half-Life. Oh, okay. Because I'm ballin', and I like polygons. Well, it's still polygons, it doesn't really matter. They just up updated textures and lighting for this one. But, okay. Look at that guy. I can't even see what's going on, off, actually, because it's oh, okay. the pictures frozen, system. but I can roll with it. <laughs> oh, okay, it's just a guy driving like a bat out of hell on a front loader. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the thing, Due to the uh, how, how you can like walk around and cut scenes in this game. I think that was one of, this was one of the first games that let you no do that. Smoking. Well, this was one of the first games that just let you have complete 3D control with the mouse cursor as well. Oh, yeah? For a first-person shooter, yeah. Well, I've never been too much of a PC game kind of person, but you know. One of the first games, I think. I don't know. No, but, um... In the event, I don't know. This know. whole train ride Passengers to the to, to the laboratories to um to Black Mesa. Is so I don't know. It just fills me with anticipation. Yeah, because you see like the chopper, the, the chopper, so the chopper's taking off and everything. Get to the chopper. <laughs> and you see all the things going wrong, like the leaking vat of radioactive fluid and everything. Yeah, it's like who's keeping up with Black Mesa? <laughs> Probably no one. <laughs> well, the job doesn't start until Gordon Freeman gets there. I guess so. <laughs> it's like the party. He's the party starter. He's the job starter. And it's funny because, like, when you get there, everyone's all like, Where have you been, Gordon? <laughs> Let's get I thought you were supposed to be in the anomalous materials lab 40 minutes ago. <laughs> Don't talk to me, man. I'll get there when I get there. Gosh. Oh, I love how, um,. If you talk to some of the security guards, if you keep bugging them, they'll be like, oh, hey, let's grab a beer later on me. No, -uh, they do not. They do, too. I have, a, I have a problem with, like, not being persistent, because, like, the second, like, when I talk to them, they'll be all like, I don't want to talk to you. And I'll be like, fine, okay, and then I'll walk away. I should be more persistent. <laughs> Look, he's just a research associate. I know. The, the, the NPCs are so rude in this game. They're oh, so no, I meant Gordon Freeman is. Oh, oh, wait, is that... Yeah, there's the G-Man. Your you hated enemy. Is, it, he oh, is he's not in the beginning, is he? Yes, he is. He's he twice is in the not. beginning. He's he's following you in a um, another in the tram cart. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see him later on trying to like pick the lock between two power generators or something. What? If you have an associate G-Man scares me. In the areas of... <laughs> <laughs> he's like Slenderman, but in half Oh, just wait until you get further in the game. He's even worse. Oh I'm gonna have to play this game along with you because, like, I've been wanting to play Half Life Half Life again, and now I have a reason to. Exactly. Well, I mean, I had a reason to before. This game is awesome, but I just, you know. I mean, between you and one of my best friends back home, who finally got around to playing Half Life, I'm like, you know what? I should finally 
do this game because it, it was bound to happen. Good thinking, my friend. Good Regular thinking. Because I don't know if I told you, but this is my favorite game of, of all time. Like of all time? Yes. Wow, I feel so honored that I get to co-commentate with you and y'all in an LP of your favorite game of all time. Oh, hey, look, there's another G-Man. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fixing up his tie, brushing off his suit. G-Man scares me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm glad I can't see the picture because I think I would probably... <laughs> right before you travel over the radioactive waste. Yeah, it would be radioactive. Now it would come alive and, like, try to kill you. That's really unfortunate. Oh, hey, I can't remember. Is... Do they have the fat security guard in this one, too? Or is that just uh, Blue Shift? I don't know. Um, no, I think all the security guards pretty much look the same. Okay, because I know in Opposing Force and uh, Blue Shift, door, they added one security, the security guard who's so fat that he can't reach his firearm. <laughs> you get hired. <laughs> I don't know, because it's hilarious in Blue Shift when you're doing, like, firearm practice. He's standing there with a donut in one hand trying to reach across his girth. <laughs> First pistol with the other. That's awful! <laughs> oh my god! It's amazing. That is amazing. Agreed. I agree. I agree with you. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't laugh at the morbidly obese Alex. It's not right. <laughs> Jeez, no. how could you? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm being hypnotized by the new tech, shiny textures on this security guard's helmet. Oh, I wish I could see it. <laughs> Darn it. Has the picture changed at all for you? Nope. It's still on the loading screen? Yep. Oh man. It's okay. It's okay. You can at least hear me having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Which will in turn cause me to have fun, so don't feel bad. You anyway. just keep trucking. First chapter. Anomalous materials. Dun dun dun. Oh, so did you ever actually like check out the reception room? I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash. About you know the lobby ago, when you first go into Black Mesa? Oh, oh, um, not too terribly much. Um, I, I know that there's like a little vent, but you can't really go into there until later. Well, there's a couple buttons you can press, like over in the corner when you first come in to your left, there's a button you can press that'll open up a computer and start an alarm. Really? Yeah, and one of the scientists will be like, Get away from there, I'm expecting a new message. <laughs> and then over by the security guard's desk, there's a button you can Come press on, that'll put the lab that? into, like, lockdown or Come something. On, <laughs> and that's you awesome. I just like to come into Black Mesa and start pressing, pressing buttons and whatever. <laughs> and the security guard's it. like, What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get me into trouble? I don't know, it's just great. That's awesome. That's what I would do. I would just go in and I would be like, hey, I'm Gordon Freeman and I'm going to come in and press every button I can find because I'm Gordon Freeman. I think my favorite part about this first part as well is in Blue Shift, you can actually find a terminal with security cameras mm -hmm. and it'll show Gordon Freeman actually going into work and everybody being like, oh, hello there, Gordon. Aww. Fancy seeing you here. That's like that special moment when you're playing Portal and you get to see Shell. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, that special moment. <laughs> aw, I'm in, I'm in Gordon's locker. He's got a baby picture. Aw, he does? Yeah. Aw, I didn't know that. I think it's that. actually one of the coders' babies or something, and he's got his MIT graduation certificate. Aw, yay. He's an accomplished young gentleman. Let's see. He's got the Orchid Eater by I Can't Read, I think it's by Laidlaw. By I Can't Read. And the 37th Mandala by Mark Laidlaw. <laughs> well, all right. That sounds like some pretty intense reading. Yeah, it does. I don't know. <laughs> Never heard of him before. Yeah, me neither. English major. No. <laughs> I have an excuse because I major in a fake science. <laughs> yeah, but I've never heard of Mark Laidlaw before. Well, maybe you should look him up. Oh, wait. Shh. Awesome HEV suit rave music. <laughs> You're almost in time with the song, too. That's Seriously? the best part. No way. Yes. I, am, I am too good. You're, you're going to give me a swelled head. <laughs> Not that I don't already have No, that. it's actually really funny that you ended up being, again, almost in time with it. So. Wow. I 
I'm uh, pretty professional. Oh, hey, I never saw that before. You have a co-worker with a uh, locker, and his name is Guthrie. Oh. <laughs> like Woody Guthrie. <laughs> what other names do we have? Wood. Bond. I had I had a, uh, a guy that I went to high school with, and his last name was Guthrie. Oh, wait a minute. He was there's, actu there's actually a locker with the name Laidlaw on it. <gasps> really? Yeah. Man, they were running out of names. <laughs> That's really weird. I never noticed that before, so it's funny. Hmm. This is one of those games that you can kind of just look around and sometimes you can find little Easter eggs and it's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like right here, there's, you'll see this later on when I when you actually see the video, but there's two scientists in a break room, one Greetings. of them pounding on a soda pop machine. <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about, yeah. And there's the microwave with the casserole in it, and if mm -hmm. you just keep pressing it. My God, what are you uh -oh. doing? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, it just explodes. I love exploding things in a microwave. And the other guy comes over and is like, my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I was going to eat that. No, you weren't. <laughs> so says Gordon Freeman, and that's the final law. <laughs> and they actually reference it in the last game that they put out. Oh, right oh really? Answer, yeah. Looks like you're oh. in the Valve is all about like referencing things I know, upon it's great. things upon things. And like I love the whole idea that like Portal and Half Life are like the same universe. <laughs> I don't know, oh. that intrigues me. Before we move into the laboratory, I just want to talk to this guard so I can prove to you. Sorry, sir, I've got to stay. Back. Oh okay. One sec. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Get Freeman. him to say it. Get him hey, to say catch it. Catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. There we go. Yeah! Says, hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> I don't know. You seem pretty sketch. Well, <laughs> it's a free drink, so I might as well. <laughs> did you ever check out the scrolling screens either? Yes, I did. Working as a team. Yeah, they remind me of those um those ridiculous posters that they have in Aperture Science. <laughs> they just remind me of office motivational posters. <laughs> Oh god. Hate those posters. <laughs> oh god. At least there's no music playing during the elevator ride. I could make that happen. I ran out. <laughs> but I was just, the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> just jumping over everything on my way out. Awesome. Leave me alone. You gotta you gotta jump around. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look like you're excited to be at work. I am excited to be at work, because you you're... know what? I get to go to anomalous materials and play with radioactive chemicals. Alright! Who you're wouldn't want to do that? company man. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Hey, 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 did you see that picture ah, in my locker? Yeah, I'm a family he man. He's a family man. <laughs> We've boosted the anti mass spectrometer oh my to 105%. Oh, I love this, sent this scientist voice. We have boosted the anti spectrometer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I love how all the scientists who work there are is like, the, like regular white Caucasian man. Regular Einstein old white guy. <laughs> yeah. And regular then Einstein black man. and then a black guy. And that's it. <laughs> it's like it's like three mothers had like sex tuplets <laughs> each. <laughs> oh hey, I just saw you guys in the other room. <laughs> yeah. And then they founded uh, Black Mesa from like all of the offspring of these three children. And then there's Gordon Freeman. <laughs> I wonder if I should run that. Again. I love how they build up to this, though. Like, oh god, all these things are going wrong, and they shouldn't be running those tests down there in anomalous materials. I know, it's like, you, you're supposed to be going there for work, but you know that there's just something not right going on. Like, already, you can there's so much tension. Mm-hmm. That's why, I don't know, like, I'm not a big first-person shooter kind of person, but th this game is just so... Oh! <laughs> oh, wait, like, I think this is... Like the one guy that's nice to you. <gasps> What's he say? Hello there. He just said hello there. Oh, hi. But like everybody else is like, where are you? What are you doing? And then this guy's just like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> now I'll have a beer with be that guy. <laughs> I can't be bothered right now. Okay, here we are. Ooh. At work. See, this game I'm works at suspense, just like Alfred Hitchcock. Standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. <laughs> 
Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity. See if we can listen to them now for a second. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Oh, that's nice. Let's they have complete the confidence in me. And they've assured me that I am a professional and that nothing will go wrong. Mm -hmm. They had their fingers crossed behind their back. You better watch it. <laughs> no, no. I, I think all my fears are laid to rest. I have nothing to worry about. You uh, have complete faith in the in the sex tuplets. I have complete <laughs> faith in the man. <laughs> all right. Testing. Testing. You do that. I'm just gonna. Everything I'm gonna follow you behind you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna follow behind you. There's nothing wrong with being a follower. All right, Gordon. Oh. I'm gonna listen to what my instructions are, so. <sighs> Whatever. You goody two shoes. Climb up and start the rotors. We can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Awesome. Bringing up the rotors on the anti mass spectrometer. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have like the barest inkling of the, what that means but we get to watch a pretty cutscene so I don't care oh yeah I love how um, we'll take it from here. <laughs> it'd be funny if Gordon Freeman really didn't know what he was doing he just walked in and just like oh. <laughs> well I like how they reference that in Half-Life 2 like oh all that MIT education flipping that switch and all looks like that money you pay went to good use <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> oh no stage 2 emitters a monkey now. could do his job, and I hey. am. <laughs> hey, if I could quit my job and do Gordon's job, I think I probably won't because of what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not to foreshadow anything or whatever. Capacitors to one. I think yeah, but but you know it's it's probably fine. Uh, I, I don't think anything. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I don't know, man. I, I get, I get, the, no, I get a bad well feeling about sense. this place. I'm getting a bad vibe. Nah, like all the discrepancies they're seeing are well within safe bounds, so... Okay, and yeah, you know. <laughs> You're in the safe zone. Yeah, I've got my HEV suit and everything. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, you keep telling yourself that. He's gonna oh, hey, look. <laughs> look, look, there's a sample. Let's, let's move it into position. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, everything's going fine. Whoa, oh, yeah. wait, what? Uh -oh. Push Get it further. Further! No, what do you no. think you're doing? <laughs> I'm going to destroy it's us all! <laughs> not, oh no, we're going flat! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a better view. <laughs> <laughs> a better view. <laughs> of what, oh, huh? those guys? I don't know, there's like guys popping in and out of existence all around me. God, oh my god! We're going crazy! Actually, I think we might have just gone plaid. <gasps> I can't see a thing. Oh no. <laughs> the inside of my eyelids are plaid. <laughs> oh, here we are. We're back. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was just a minor malfunction. Whatever. Sorry about that. Oh my god. We're what? Huh? We're on some sort of alien planet. With alien. Whoa. So I like how when you're surrounded by the Vortigons, you can actually turn on the flashlight and look around the room. I know, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> like, that that part where everything just is flashing all over the place, that scared me senseless. <laughs> well, the best part is, when I first played this game, that was when we had the, the only computer we had in the house was in our living room. So I was playing this while the rest of my family was watching TV, and one second while I get over that little ledge, <laughs> and then mm -hmm. I'd just be, like, freaking out of my mind. Oh my gosh. Aw. Looks like Mr. Caucasian Man is dead. Oh no! The carnage. The bedlam! 